Elon Musk's very first Starship launch will be one of the most exciting things for SpaceX. In fact, if that were to take place today, you can only imagine the excitement in all news streams, let alone what Elon Musk and his space team would be feeling. That was to be realized by March. However, life happens. And we're here to tell you why SpaceX is not going to have a Starship orbital launch in March. This whole story about SpaceX's Starship launch in March all started when the SpaceX CEO himself stated this seemingly ambitious goal in an interview. Musk mentioned, We are getting close to our first orbital launch attempt of Starship. Hopefully in the next month or so we will have our first attempt. News around Starship launches has always been marked with a mix of excitement and anxiety. The thing is, it might either fail or succeed. Even Elon Musk admitted that the rocket has a 1 in 2 chance of not reaching orbit. Nonetheless, he added, I'm not saying it will get to orbit, but I am guaranteeing excitement. That's a tricky message to know. But all the same, launching a rocket into space is not an easy feat. And now that we're talking about SpaceX Starship, saying it's a complex process will be an understatement. For the record, the Starship rocket is much bigger and more complex than NASA's Saturn V. So hearing of an early launch is some big news. Unfortunately, March is slipping away and we are not seeing the Starship orbital launch materializing. What could be the problem? Since we're talking about the biggest rocket on Earth, it's not a matter of just one problem, but a numerous list of them. First of all, the rocket is already too complex and the mission is very difficult. In fact, some critics are mocking the Starship mission claiming that it will be an epic fail just like its test flight predecessors. We're not siding with the critics, but if the history of Starship's suborbital test flights is to tell us anything, it's that there's a high likelihood of a rocket blow up. The first four exploded in an attempt to land, with the last one sticking the landing before blowing up again. Finally, the fifth and final one in a row was the only which made a successful landing, of course with some glitches in between. With the shaky landing history, it will only be normal for SpaceX to want to take their time and make a perfect masterpiece. Otherwise, just one mistake in the intricate parts of the rockets and everything will go wrong. Then again, SpaceX had another very ambitious plan underway, making a reusable rocket. We've already had numerous space companies littering outer space, and will really appreciate it if someone is working towards not littering the atmosphere. The Starship might likely be the first shot in this ambitious plan. What this means is that the Starship will be able to take cargo, people, or satellites in space, come back, and be ready for another trip the next day without unnecessarily littering space. Of all space ventures, this will be unique. Even Russia hasn't been able to attempt half as much. Yet really, they also have achieved some interesting feats in the space era. That said, having SpaceX make a reusable rocket means more time. It translates to several months of work before the product is realized. For SpaceX to achieve such a difficult feat, they have to complete the Water Deluge System project that is still underway. This ingenious project aims to make the Starbase more capable of handling the stress of Starship tests. But remember, the rockets also have their own set of pressure to deal with, so the water deluge system equally extends to the rocket itself. That being the case, each rocket has unique water deluge needs that require customization. Customizing these systems will take time, so SpaceX is far from getting done. A two-month deadline would still be very little. However, let's say Elon Musk finished their project today. Will SpaceX still launch? Sad to say, no. They still have to clear up with the FAA. This is their most unpredictable barrier. The Federal Aviation Administration plays a role to issue launch licenses for all space missions in the US. Typical to all Musk-owned companies, authorities are a pain in the neck, and Musk finds it hard to acquire his space license. You can bet that if Musk was given to choose the easiest between launching a Starship and going through authorities, he would naturally choose the former. However, reality spells that Musk must complete a lengthy environmental review of the proposed test. This will include 75 excruciating actions to mitigate environmental impacts related to Starship's flight. Until that is satisfied, the FAA will not make any license for SpaceX flights in space. Elon Musk is always notorious for getting himself on the wrong side of authority. 
It won't come as a surprise to most of us if he doesn't fulfill all of FAA requirements and still launch the Starship in space. He'll only deal with the consequences later. Not long ago, the Tesla and SpaceX CEO had a rather wrong brush with the FAA. In an email sent by the FAA spokesperson, SpaceX was being issued with a $175,000 fine for failing to submit enough details about the Falcon 9 in August of 2022. According to the email, Elon Musk didn't submit their launch collision analysis data prior to the mission that sent a myriad of Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. This data was needed to access the probability of colliding with one of the several objects in Earth's low orbit. The FAA proposed a penalty to SpaceX which will have to be duly resolved before they consider the Starship project. Thus, the March launch will only remain a dream. If the issue with FAA is dealt with, there will only be one last big barrier for SpaceX, the fuel. A beast like the Starship requires not less than 3,400 tons of propellant to boost the upper stage of the rocket. Another hefty 1,200 tons of methane and oxygen is again required to lift a payload of 100 tons to LEO. That totals 4,600 tons of methane and liquid oxygen to declare the mission somewhat ready. Coming by this amount of rocket fuel means many stopovers along the way considering the size of the payload. That means SpaceX will have to launch another rocket to refuel the Starship and make the full 6 kilometers delta. Well, another rocket in space translates to more fuel, and more fuel points to more energy. Hopefully Elon Musk has enough for these, so we can anticipate a mission success somewhere along the way. If the Starship mission is successful in the long run, we can be confident of another successful trip to Mars, and possibly starting another base on the Red Planet. If that happens one day, time can only tell. Otherwise, we are keeping our eyes open for the Starship launch. If it does happen in the next several months, we'll be waiting with a box of popcorn. That marks the end of this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can always get a notification when we post the latest and most exciting news that you would not want to miss. Till next time, cheers.